Let me briefly report on the results uh, of this important conference here in uh, Canberra. Our discussions this week have again underlined that dealing with the threat of improvised explosive devices is uh, of course a very complex issue which cannot be addressed by any single agency or country alone. IEDs are the weapons of choice for terrorist groups, for criminals. They pose one of the greatest threats to the safety and security of countries and individuals, not just in conflict zones but around the world. It's still, let's say, the killer number one uh, and not only posing threats to soldiers in the battlefield but also to civilians. As we just uh, this year have seen more than 10,000 casualties, um, civilian casualties uh, all around the globe. We are all in agreement um, at this conference that uh, more needs to be done to address this threat and the forum has provided uh, a very valuable and constructive way forward, particularly through its support for the creation of the Global Alliance to counter improvised explosive devices. This coalition of willing partners will develop a coordinated international effort based on four key pillars, which is component controls, a, a very important part uh, of a comprehensive strategy, capacity building, uh, as many of our partners are very experienced and should share their experience with others who need this kind of support. Um, public awareness and of course one of the most important issues is the sharing of available information all around uh, the globe. Through the Global Alliance we can focus law enforcement, military and diplomatic channels towards an international response to reduce the IED threats and of course to save lives. And uh, that has been the basis of our meeting here in Canberra this week, of course, to save lives uh, and to protect soldiers and civilians from this terrible threat. Interpol will provide its full support both to the Global Alliance and our common goal to make the world a safer place. We have a kind of mechanism already in place uh, in Lyon uh, and in our hub in Singapore to facilitate uh, information sharing uh, the exchange of best practice to also support capacity building and training uh, activities. So this is the main role Interpol plays in this important uh, uh, exercise and, and enterprise. And I'd like specifically to thank our partners, the Australian Department of Defence and the Australian Federal uh, Support for an outstanding partnership in this in, uh, important international initiative. Thank you very much.